All signs read for the season of Leo. 21st of July to the 21st of August. Who's done playing games this season? I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've used this spread, but I feel like it's appropriate this time. Be a little bit long, but usually, you know. How did that go? Yes. Hmm. Mmm. It's been, I, how long has it been since I've done this spread? Can we, oh, okay. What's your vibe check, y'all? For the season, nothing is working. Get right there. People's guides might be losing their shit. You might have to be paying attention to what's being told to you or something doesn't mean communicate it correctly during the season. Could be a thing. Candle magic for clarification. Ooh, something's up, something's up. Swing a brick in the sock undefeated. My ride or die is waiting for the ladder when the nice guy is very nice after all. Pause. This person might be a Pharisee in the streets or wiggling underneath. Be attention to people like this. Your guy, it's a season, y'all. Especially you, Leo, since this is like your birthday fucking read. Uh... I didn't mean to say it like that, all rough and shit. My apologies. There's somebody possibly in your energy, or I don't know. It could be somebody. It could be you. It could be your dog. It could be your turtle. It could be that one bitch who's always coming out with like sandals and socks. Not even like the flop socks, but the ones with the thing between the toes, and they don't even have the appropriate socks for that shit. It could be one of these people. You might be trusting someone a little bit, or it might be looking like someone is a little bit undefeated. But someone, mm, I feel like someone's like got someone next to them, but they're not as supportive as they seem. So someone's got to pause and be like, wait, why does this person seem spiritually weak? Like, you're, I think someone's trying to talk to their people, but it's not coming out the way it should this season. Steve Irwin was a call leader. It might be that motherfucker. Uh, remember, six flags has six red flags. Do you remember the commercial? Probably not. I'm old. As above, so below. Thoughts, feelings, roots, as such. The energy and vibration of the entire thing. At least that's what I'm, I'm picturing. I don't know. I can't remember what the fuck that one is. It's been a minute. Uh, what's coming directly next? The obstacle and challenge facing the motherfucker. And the ending result of it all. Wish fulfillment gone wrong. Mm. What's up with this, uh, Ten of Pentacles Reverse? Why does someone feel like this shit isn't panning out for them? They're not a nice guy. That's what it is. They're not a nice man. And there is a masculine energy. The King of Pentacles is here. I guess he's trying not to be a rat, though. Hmm. Someone's been having games played on them. It might have made them a nasty person or they became a nasty person already. Or they're burdened because they're not... Oh, they, they probably got a whole fucking mountain on their problems, man. That's why they got some fucking sticks. They got burdens. They got issues. They are carrying a bunch of shit. They got a young, someone possibly younger than them screaming at them for random shit despite the fact that they used a younger person to make wish fulfillment, but yet they act like a child. It doesn't have to be a child that they're dealing with, but it's definitely something. Some of y'all can be burdened with how you're dealing with your fucking kid. Some maybe some of you may be feeling I don't know. This is almost like someone regrets having a kid. Like not the getting pregnant part, but actually like like they got the whole baby. It's got a whole new baby smell. Or something like that. Or something to do with the kid. I don't think it's the one readings I did the night before. But, this is still like, mm, It's like someone regrets becoming a parent. 
if that's the case, but I don't think that's the entire scenario. It, but it's definitely like a feeling. It's like, I feel like I'm taking care of a fucking child. That kind of thing, you know? It's like, you got like 18 year olds and you gotta wake them up every day to go to, to work and they work with you. And it's just like, how is it you all have a truck? I go to bed later than you, but you can't get the fuck up in the morning. The fuck, you know, like that feeling, right? It's like someone, is someone taking care, like someone might be taking care of somebody this season and they, and they aren't going to enjoy it as much as they thought they would. Thoughts of feeling someone trying to get out of this fucking situation. Whoever's, like, might be screaming at this individual over yonder. It's trying to get out of the situation. But it seems like the root of this is a duality. Do I save myself or or do I let this person cut my head off? Ha! Huh, that's a trick question. Because these people are so, um... What is it? Conjoined? That if one cuts the head off, the other one's going to bleed to death from blood... Or not bleed to death, but they'll die of blood poisoning. Because they both need each other in order to survive so if even if you cut one the other one's gonna perish so one gets a quick death and the one suffers a horrible painful slow death right yeah someone isn't that lucky someone hasn't found their luck here someone is running out of luck during leo season or something happens it's the house that's that's the issue who's gonna have a home or who's what the fuck? Something is getting cut up. There's something going on with two people, possibly this season, right? I don't know if y'all be involved in this, but pay attention, though. But someone's having issues in their home. This vibe and energy ch check. Where someone's screaming at okay, like, And then, you know, there's birdies. You know, oh, okay. You're supposed to be a provider. What? Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn, those fit more of the vibe of a man who wants to be a provider, but you never know, you, ne you never, you never know, you never know, you never know. What's with this burden? This is something that's immediately coming up. Oh. It, if someone wants to go fuck outside, someone's burdened with the outdoors. Um, all this shrieking and shit, the obstacle and challenge, this is not the key. So it doesn't even matter what someone could be yelling at somebody else during this season. It, it, that's not the issue. That's not going to fix anything. It's not whatever. And someone might be recognizing that. Someone might actually be recognizing during this season, hey, this person screaming at me is really going off of me. Like, how are you going to expect me to give you... Uh, uh, how are you... Like, okay, I saw this skit the other day, right? Where it was like this woman's just like, once you start doing this for me, I'll start doing wife stuff for you. And this guy's like, so wait, I'm providing for you. I protect for you. I've helped establish this relationship. I'm doing all this shit. I'm doing stuff that a husband does before I'm even a husband. Because you see me as your husband. And I can live with that. But you don't, I don't see you as my wife because you won't even do the basic shit, you know? But it's weird, too, because guys will literally be like, you know, don't do white shit with me um, before we ever get married because then I never want to marry you. But then next thing you know, it's like uh, sitting there being like, oh, well, I'm doing husband shit for you, but you won't do white shit for me. And it's just like, make up your goddamn mind! Do you want a woman or not? You know, like, that that was the feeling I got. Because it's just like, so weird. All this time when you guys have been saying don't do wife shit for women before they're your wives. Like, now all of a sudden, like, you're being like, oh, well, I'm doing husband shit for you, so you should... No! Y'all need to make... Some men need to make up their fucking minds on what the fuck they're even looking for. First of all, why are you looking for a wife in somebody already? Second of all, why are you, why'd you live with someone who ain't even your fucking wife? You know, me as... From a perspective of a woman, men have no right shaming women for doing like wifey shit if they're expecting submission. I, I'm just pointing that out there. You can't sit there and be like, oh, well, I'm doing husband shit for you. You should do wifey shit for me. And then, but before that, you're all saying, you know, uh, oh, you should be doing wife shit for me before like we're actually married. It's just like, so which one do you want? Yeah, like, you know, we're just gonna be best friends. We're just gonna be best friends. But that's kind of what it feels like. It's like someone's expected a lot from somebody. So I didn't act like a husband, and yet they don't know how to act like a wife. But at the same time, my question is, why are you doing husband shit for someone who doesn't see, who's not your wife, but still expected them to do shit for you when they're not, when you're not their husband? I, I like, I don't understand the entire argument, really, because when I was, I, like, growing up with my parents, when you're married, or when you're with someone, that's supposed to be your, your main person. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there... Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind. Maybe that's why this got on my nerves, because someone can't make up their fucking mind about what the fuck they want in a relationship. Possibly. Uh, the guides are all fucking confused. They don't know what the fuck's going on. Someone is, has interference. Someone isn't getting direct answers, but at the same time, I think this person wished for this. Or they got something they wished for. It is just like, oh god, there's all this garbage with this baggage I just installed in myself. Shit, what was I thinking? They asked for an event that would shake their foundation and cause a grand fortune event of occult reasoning and stature. Mm -hmm. Girl. Girl. I can't sing today, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> Oh my, this is a strange Leo season. I want to check the star dates, if you don't mind. Can I tell you the dates of the stars? Is it okay for me to play my guitar for y'all? I miss fucking Prince. That smooth motherfucker. He was a determined little fellow. It's just like, fine, I'm not Prince, but I'll be the artist formerly known as Prince's. There's not a goddamn thing you can do about it, Warner Brothers. Really, man, it's just like, I'm gonna be stubborn and still make my shit. I'll produce my own shit. I can produce my own shit. I am worth it. People will buy my shit. There ain't nobody who don't fucking love me. And he did that shit. You know, when everyone, like, turned their back on them, when Warner Bros. fucked him up when they were trying to sue him, he went and did all sorts of different things that they could not fuck with them with. And then once that contract was gone, boom, he was able to be Prince again. He was able to have his own name, his own fortune, his own everything. He did everything on his own. His album, Musicology? Mmm. Mmm. I think that's his best, honestly. Personally, me. But you don't agree. Sextile. In the planetary retrograde. And we're still in Saturn retrograde. Which, mind you, the retrograde's lasting all the way till uh, October 22nd. And if you haven't already seen a whole bunch of people getting karma, um... Give it a week. I've been seeing motherfuckers get some shit. I've been seeing how people have been reacting, you know. When Saturn goes retrograde, the burdens are heavy for all the signs, except for Capricorn. Because Capricorns get something completely different. Like, Saturn ignores us, and it's just like, the fuck? Where, where's the voice in my head that tells me I'm not doing enough and, like, I'm a fucking idiot? Where's my dad? Daddy went to go get cigarettes. You're just gonna have to wait till the fuck he comes back, if the nigga comes back. You know he's gonna come back. You gonna hear about everything you fucking did while he's gone, but he's gonna come back. Very few times a Capricorn will have to face the same shit as uh, like everyone else during a retrograde, as far as I know. The asteroid Lilith might be in the sign of Cancer. Cardinal sign, Ceres. The asteroid series might be in either Aries, well, Cancer, yeah, that's a cardinal. Never mind, it's cardinal. It might even be in Libra and Capricorn as well. Uh, Cirrus is also known as a... What the fuck was that bitch's name? Persephone? Perseph? Pers Persephone? Or I can't remember, she's like Hades' wife. That is it, it, his sunshine wife. It's just like, I have a beautiful wife, you know? But this is her mother. She was, um, of the crop. She brought abundance and all that shit. And when her daughter goes to the underworld for six months, the world is barren. There's snow everywhere. Not a damn tree wants to pop a fucking leaf. Everyone's got to go burr and deal with that shit, right? So it could be something like that. Which is interesting, because it's like, asteroid Lilith and Cancer. But it's also a possibly Cancer and Cirrus, and as well as a different sign as well, one of the Cardinals. So that could be something to pay attention to. Then we have Pallas, Pallas Athena, creativity, intelligence, and reason. And that might pop up during the last quarter of the moon. Pay attention to that. Sexta, planet retrograde. Lilith, Cancer, Cardinal Signs, and I don't know, but we got that. 
So, let us begin. Remember, if this don't resonate with you, boop your nose, way it goes. Don't be coming at me with this shit. I don't know. I'm just here. Not exactly queer, but not exactly in fear. My dear. Gone is your silence to deny this, my dear. I've been wondering why I'm still calling your name, my dear. That's within Temptation, if you don't know that band. As far as I know, she only sings in English, but she speaks German. If I remember that correctly, I don't know. But it sounds about right. Anyway, so someone's burden could be the shit man. Or someone is so burdened that they're becoming a terrible fucking human being from it. Their wish fulfillment was not... Uh, 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 no shit. It's still here. This all is, So this is all like a catastrophic event. Because this is the Ten of Cups reversed. The Ten of Bowls. But somebody didn't knock over the bowls the way they wanted them to. It's just like, I don't know if I should go for this. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't want to be holy. Kitty, they're not going to throw you outside. Those are all plastic cups. What's the matter? We got an empress. Who will bite the fuck out. Some kind of emperors who will fight them like the man who fucking raised them, which is something I've said before to people. It's just like, what was it? There was this one time when I was like, I want to say 31, 32, and this woman came in with a stroller and a child did it. Now, mind you, I don't know what it is about me, but it's just, or just black people in general, but if we see a child in a stroller, they're too big for it. We, we kind of look. And it's just like, why is that baby in a stroller? And this was a white woman with a black child. This child was like five in a two-year-old's stroller. It's just like, the fuck am I looking at? She came in screaming and all this shit, being like, I needed some service before I could talk to her. She just kept screaming over me about dumb shit. I'll never come back here. I'm like, man, you're not allowed here. And if you come back, I'm beating you like the man who fucking raised you. And she's just like, oh, you have a dad? And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, no, you don't. I was like, yes, I do. Why would you say I wouldn't have a dad? And then she started to say something, but she stopped herself. And I was just like, oh, what are you going to say? And she just kept screaming and she left. But it was like one of the, it, it was like at this hospital. I worked at in a really, I was, I, like, it was honestly a really racist town. And I don't know why I ever went fucking there. But it was like, mm. Fuck these people, man. Like, for real. Every time I turned around, there was something with these folk. Oh, there's something wrong with you. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're not looking good. Or some shit. Three of... No, no. Who is stalling? Someone's stalling. They got an empress. They got, a, they got like, a, a, at least a woman. Or a feminine energy. Or someone who acts like the weaker vessel, I'll say, or the more receptive vessel. Not the weaker vessel, the more receptive, because feminine energy is more receptive to shit. Masculine energy just pushes shit on you. It, it, it's a thing that delivers, that injects, and inserts itself, right? So whatever this person gives this other individual, this empress right here, um... She's kind of bitchy about it, and they kind of don't, they don't, they don't really want to, um... They, 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 they're kind of taking their time with what they're doing. They're just like, I don't want to go home just yet. There's no reason to. It's King of Pentacles. Isn't it right? That's the... This is the above. This is below. This is the 3D. This is the 5D. Someone's stalling on Wish for Fulfillment. Do you are not love us? Could be also with the Gemini. Someone isn't a rat here, or someone's trying to seem like they're not a rat by giving something, or I don't know, being a provider. Wheel of Forge is turning, though. Two fat cats, but there's an abundance of water. Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. What the fuck does that mean? Why why did MC Hammer pop into my head, y'all? What the fuck did that mean? What do you mean can't touch this? Like, why are you playing MC Hammer in my head? 
It sounds like a Mario song, honestly. Hmm. Is someone not falling for the temptation? You two, quit pausing my shit. I didn't... I don't need you to ask me if I'm still listening to something. Not even 15 minutes into an hour-long video. I hate that. Because YouTube won't do that with people when they're live streaming regular shit or on playbacks of anything. But when it comes to music, they do it every fucking time. And it's just like, motherfucker, it's an hour. Let me jam my stuff without you confirming that you're trying to be like Netflix. Like, the hell is this, you know? Sorry, I just got on my goddamn nerves. I don't know why. Fuck it, I'll just use these. Ooh, that was something that was overturned. I didn't notice before. <clears throat> Someone has a victory here. They might even deliver something to someone's way. Hmm. Interesting. So, what's up with this? Hmm. Got a book. Someone wants to let their guard down, being like, I'm fucking tired of being on duty. And yet there's a greedy motherfucker over top of it being like, ha ha you're not getting shit today. You know, trying to make the world balanced a little bit. Now, but however, someone took a lot of risks doing this kind of shit, and the other person's realizing they're doing their own self-fulfilling prophecy this season. Mm. Someone's lost their inspiration. Up top with this lack of wish fulfillment. Some, I feel like someone could also be on guard from this person, too. And they're just like, oh, well, if I wait, it'll be okay. Because someone's withholding too much, you know? But then, like, there's a revelation that this person just wants to let their guard down or be released from this, um, compromising position, and it's just like... Dude, like, why don't you take your emotions out of it? Why are you in this position? I feel like I gotta tell somebody this. I'm not sure why. But I feel like someone's put this on themselves. Like, are you, is there a time period? Are you waiting for- are you waiting for a bitch to cool down so you can talk to them? I mean, you can, but I feel like that's kind of like a waste of time. But this pentacle is mighty powerful. That one pentacle, it, it makes someone a dragon. Like, I have this. I have this. I think it's kind of weird to brag like that when you, you gotta beg for someone else to get it you know because it's like they're sitting there begging someone who barely even wants to give them everything just so they could become a dragon just so they could feel empowered i would be careful of this because uh i feel like if someone's giving you something or you have to sit here and ask someone for it you probably sh that would, I, I, I don't think it's a good idea cuz not only it, it kind of it kind of makes you a fucking monster honestly this one pentacle that's probably what this king of pentacles problem is it's like oh i got this i got that i can do this or i can do whatever da, 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 i got a lot of abundance but uh, like a person's playing with magic in order to get things like look at all them pentacles growing from a fucking tree trees don't even grow fucking uh, brass and shit Like, they want to come in with- if someone wants to come in with an abundance of cup, start something, maybe, like, admit a little bit of feelings and shit. But someone here is overwhelmed using their thoughts to elicit feelings. Do they believe that whoever's bringing them a cup is a goddamn devil? Or a Capricorn? Like, it could be, I don't know, but... Mm. I don't know, the one thing I learned about... I don't know what- Capricorns and Leos? It's always a fight over dominion, like, dominance. It's not competitive ever. 
it's just the dominance thing. It's like, who's really in charge here? Nobody, honestly, but can people tell the difference? Probably not. It's supposed to be an Ace of Cups. So almost, like, is this person with this other person to give them the Ace of Cups? Because it seems like they're the ones who are burdened under the table of the game playing. There's a lot of books out here. You know, someone wants to escape the situation they were in in order to come to somewhere barren, not realizing that there's an asshole on the other side talking that nonsense. Maybe, ah, oh hell no. No, 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 no. This was reverse. You're not making me drop that shit. This was a bad idea. Maybe you want to pretend it's a good idea, whoever this is, but no, a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. However, someone did want to be that king of wands and, and be adored by children, but now it seems like they're stuck where they are and they can't escape. Maybe that's the frustration that they're having. Leo, you could put yourself in a situation I, I would I probably would have told you to stay the fuck out of, but you know. People rarely listen to me, but I don't try to tell people what to do anyway. I can give advice, but I, I doubt like advice would even be taken. The only time people would listen to me is when like I'm not even talking directly to them. Or even about them. Sometimes they'll just link up with people and just be like, Oh my god, get out of my head. And it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. I just got here. I just wanted an ice cream cone, nigga. Like, the fuck? Well, you just said something about a guy, and I and I was seeing a guy like a couple weeks ago. He just contacted. I don't know. No, no, I'm off work. I'm off work. Here's my email. <laughs> just hit me up here. I'll talk to you about it later. Uh, someone, someone's got love, but they ain't given a note. Hmm. But it's enough. What the fuck? Someone not saying their love to someone is gonna break a motherfucker's jaw. Whoever it is on this side who's possibly silent in the situation or isn't delivering a cup of love message is like they're breaking the other person's mouth wide open. Like some Hong Kong versus the dinosaur shit just straight out and just ripping someone's jaw open and breaking them and killing them instantly. It's like... Hmm. This is some magician shit. This is uh, like some dirty, dirty magician shit. Hmm, interesting. The thoughts and feelings someone wants to escape a situation because, you know, they haven't had any good luck. But is this what this other person wants? Or is this what's actually happening? Because this is the thought and the feeling. This person isn't victorious, right? This one, not that one, but this one. Might be feeling a little bit trapped. Yeah, go ahead and say, yeah, okay, I'll be stay. Y'all, someone during Leo season was trying to trap a motherfucker, and that motherfucker chose to be a uh, fucking homeless. That's what it is. Someone chose homelessness over dealing with another motherfucker. It could be a situation where, like, someone was trying to reconcile or something, and it just wouldn't work out because someone just... I feel like wouldn't let go of something. I'm not sure what that something is, though. But it's very clear that someone was expecting someone to feel a certain type of way. The person wouldn't even... Like, okay, yeah... Imagine having a cat and you never buy him food, but you won't even share the food you have with your cat when it's starving. That's why the cat would rather be outside. This person, whoever this individual on this side is, he's like feeling a certain way. He feels like they're empowered, even though they had to beg for one goddamn pentacle during the season, right? Whoever this is, they were expecting someone to um, not have any luck outside they thought they were tra trapped on the screen door they just fucked that up and ran through the fucking hole mainly because they were starving for something they were missing something they needed something I'm not sure if this person gave it to them or not 
they are looking at this individual manipulative but when, it's like when they get one pentacle they have all the power it's like when a man ha goes from having nothing to having something and all of a sudden you're not a good enough bitch for him and you need to level up or something like that and it's just like oh okay it's like a man driving somebody away I mean, it doesn't have to be a man, but it, it, but it, I'm like, it feels like someone drove someone else away because they got somewhere. But it also feels like it feels like this individual believes that that individual, you know, person A believes person B is withholding that cup on purpose to be cruel. But it's like, no, 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 no. Person B is withholding something because whenever you get one once you get like one fucking penny all of a sudden you think you're king of the goddamn yard yeah you, like you locked yourself out of the house and now i can't get you, get into my house without moving around all your friends because you wanted to celebrate that shit instead of just getting the key from underneath of the mat like i told you it was two hours ago you're just trying to be a bummer up i don't care i i didn't ask if you wanted a good time i'm, I'm just letting you know like i told you it would be under the mat and now they're they're drunken people in my yard. My cat is scared. He ran and hid. I don't know where he is. I don't even know if he got outside. Damn it. You know, it's one of those where you're just like you're just looking at someone's like you didn't accomplish anything. Like you didn't accomplish anything on your own, especially. You got it from someone else. And yet they're expecting someone else to feel unlucky with their escape. Even though they had been starved in the situation. The root of that situation though someone's cut cut someone else's head off i don't know who did what but they're now but they're gonna die too it's like you both like you both needed each other in the season yeah one of y'all's gotta die when it comes to this household i don't know if this is past energy or this is shit that's gonna happen i mean it could be past energy it is uh saturn retrograde but like Oh, look at them with their tails tucked together. Drinking out the same bowl. So no decision was made. Actually, you want to go on top of there, my bad. Someone didn't know what to do? Okay. The world seemed lovely. Nipples and all. That's someone who's offered the pentacle. Now look at the pentacle. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, why is it when person B gives person A this pentacle, they become a dragon, but when person B gives someone a pentacle, they were just a gentle kitty and they looked at it. It's just like, is it okay? Is it okay if I take a bite? Like, are you sure it's mine? Are you, are you actually sure? Yeah, like that's what this feels like. The real thoughts feel. Someone took a pentacle gracefully, and the other one took turned into a fucking beast. Like someone's gonna end up carrying nothing except for money. What they can get, their power. They will look at someone and act like they're withholding something, and act like they're up to some shit. Who the fuck? is fucking with this kind of like trash like it's kind of gross honestly it, it, it's like um who goes and turns on their lover if this is a love situation like seriously i'm not even kidding this is actually a really gross scenario because it's like someone turned on their fucking lover for convenience it feels like this season Nah, 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 nah. This bitch is screaming at someone, but it's not as bad as you fucking think. But someone's all guarded in their feelings, but they need, but they've been wanting to release their guard from the very beginning. That's what I read over fucking here. How are you gonna be guarded against someone's yelling after you literally turned into a fucking monster, and after you sat here and accused them of withholding from you? Or at least, that's what I'm doing for this person, so technically they're not doing it, but I'm just speaking what the fuck this is doing. Um, I don't know if this person would even admit this. That's what trips me out. I don't know if a motherfucker would even admit any of this shit. I don't 
like they would. <clears throat> Especially with this King of Pentacles on the bottom, and they're looking at like person B, like it's a uh, like they're the magician reverse because they got love, but they're not sending the message. But it makes this person feel like, oh well, they're attacking me. They must be a mother. That no. No, no, someone just pulled their energy back from you so you're no longer protected. Will you think that they're doing... No, they're not doing anything to you, person A. This season, they're, nobody's doing anything to you. This is what happens when you fuck someone over and they pull their energy back from you. You just get whatever the fuck you were going to get anyway. Whatever person B gave you, it made you a fucking monster. But whatever you gave them, put them in a modest energy. Not humble because humble is a fucking spell. Modest. Timid. Meek. Someone accepted it with grace. Whoever person A is, they didn't. I don't know if this is someone thinking about it. Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, what you call? I appreciate that. I don't know if this person is realizing this now. Because this could be an old energy that's now just popping back up. Or if this is happening during the season, but it's just like... Mm. This person doesn't even know Like this person can't even talk to their people They need candle magic for clarification Maybe they're good with candle magic I don't know um, Candle magic isn't really that hard though It's like one of the like. Well I, I, I don't know now I'm bragging I'm not trying to brag Candle magic is like a simple fucking spell thing You know like set something on fire Yeah like fire is destructive by nature It has a lot of fucking energy Potential energy It's quickie kind of like fucking and getting an orgasm and using that orgasm for spells is something that's quick it's something efficient it's something that's easy sustainability is nil though you know if you were to use water magic it'd be different because at least it would last a good 72 hours after casting and will at least go a good like two weeks fire magic it, it, it could be an instantaneous thing and only lasts a couple days water magic could last for like up to two weeks Earth magic could be up to like three months. Air, I, I, I uh, that, that's some breathitarian shit. I, I don't do the air shit. Uh, never needed to, um, unless it's with wind or whatever. That's just something that goes along with the family, cause like you know, you know, I'm a bitches in the back, be like. Or whatever, you know. I, I, I'm not able to do it as well as my mom. <clears throat> she, I used to be able to do it a lot better. Like, we used, like when we would go to the um, powwows when I was really, really young with my grandmother. Like, those were interesting. I used to do it a lot as a kid. And victory cries and shit. Mind you, my grandmother was fucking nuts, but I love her. <laughs> She still chills from time to time. We got the sun. Someone wants to be happy. And not... Mm, and heal what heart that was broken. No! Someone is all guarded because they think someone wants to go off on them. But they don't realize the person's happy because it got over their ass. That's why they're wishing for this person to come back. Even though they're not going to because you let the cat starve. Like, you let the cat starve. The cat had to tear a hole through the fence door or whatever. Screen door. I don't know what. The door of injustice. They ate through the door of injustice and escaped because they were tired of being fucking hungry while they watched you feed your fat face. Whoever you is. Person A. I don't know. But that's the season. Someone's abusing the fuck out of somebody. Leos, if you're the ones dealing with this fucking energy, at this point, you're choosing yourself. Which you guys do anyway. But you're actually choosing yourself. Because I think you've been through the fuck enough. This person expects a lot from you. Or Leo, this could be you too. It, like, it take the roles as you switch. But whoever person A is, they expect a lot. And give very little. Like that one pentacle, empower them to become a fucking animal. This one makes someone like sit there like, Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate this. This is great. It's like... It's like a Leo sun versus a Leo moon or a Leo rising. One of the two, but it's like it's like two different types of Leos, possibly. And one has enough sense not to put up with the fucking other. You know, this is like a, a Leo sun, a, like a Leo moon or rising trying to like outshine a Leo sun. You are not doing that. You're not going to be more sunny than the damn sun. I shineth my light on you, bitch, and you will um, 
sit down because I'm the only star in this area. That's what you're saying, Leo. Like, this is what if, it, it feels like you're competing with someone for your own identity. Or they want something from you. And they want to strip you from that. But it's like, at some point, your self-worth's kicking in and be like, how the fuck are you going to keep sitting here and not even giving me the appreciation, the validation? Like, it's my goddamn birthday, and you won't even tell me a happy birthday, but you're expecting... No, I, I'm like, let me choose through the fucking fence. I'm the king. Like, that's what you're doing. Someone might also be comfortable. Comfortable but nervous looking. Huh. I didn't even notice that. Huh. The cat looks nervous to me. I'm in comfort, but I'm nervous. I don't want to be too loud because then, like, the neighbors are going to be like, okay, she's screaming, and now, like, there's a goat in the house. I mean, and, like, that's technically not wrong because I am a Capricorn. But it's one of those things where it's just like, I don't want them coming after the goats. Hmm. Oh. Thoughts and feelings. Some escaped because they weren't getting fed. So the world is now complete. The cycle's complete. And it's looking back like, ah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Looking back, titties perked and all. Looking back, there was a fire fight. Or just a fight in general. Everyone fighting and not really going for the goals. Or people are fighting about the goals itself, but not getting anywhere. Um, because the goal is on fire and nobody wants to fuck with that. So they'd rather go back to fuck nothing. Whoever this person is who escaped from the woods that someone thinks they were going to get away, that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. This person moved on, looked back over here, being like, oh, well, there's a lot of conflict. This conflict is causing me not to even look at what the goal, the main um, choice of this was. You know, look at this. This is what everyone's after. They all got dead sticks, and yet they're all fighting each other, ignoring the stick. All just to get someone to come back. Believe that something is fiery and terrible to something that's absolutely nothing for them. And someone's losing their patience about it. Ooh. Someone's lost their patience in this situation. Oh, that's me, Mom. I got a quiet day. She just got home. It's time to roam. And be quiet. Mm. Y'all, why is this person expecting you to come back in a hurry during this season? Like, this really, like, Leo, I'm not trying to say this is you, right? Because I don't know if it is or not. It is your birthday rating. This is more than likely someone you're dealing with, especially if they have Leo placements, I feel. Because it's like, no, I'm the Leo. And, and Leo, you're just like, wait, what the fuck? You're not me. You know, like, that's what it is. It's just like... Hi, Mom. Yeah, he turned it on before he left. Okay. Leo's. If I could be quite frank here, I think you're getting used by somebody. Or worse, you. Or it could be a scenario where you use somebody, and this is the reaction. I'd rather risk death in this. I'd rather go back to the streets than be domesticated. Pretty much. But Leo, I feel like you feel the same way with this person. It's just like, I'm putting a lot of energy into you for somebody who, um... is ungrateful. <laughs> no one would have done any of this for you like I did. It's just like the... Who is this? Okay. Hmm. 
just being honest, I don't like how this person's treating the person B. Let's see. There seemed to be a love situation here, so there wasn't a need for decision. The world was here, and someone accepted their pentacle humbly. Now the Wheel of Fortune is turning. The person thinks that they can decide someone else's fate. Can we also be dealing with the Sagittarius? Yeah, that didn't work out for them. That didn't. That didn't work out at all. This individual on this side stomps the devil. Could be Aries. Leo, it could also be you. I'll destroy you in there. Fuck, it's your birthday. You are the emperor. You can be in charge today. You might be stepping on a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. I don't know, but it's a little devil. They aren't very strong or powerful compared to you. Now, the King of Swords did show up earlier. I'm giving it a pass because I don't blame you if you act out like that. Ah, it didn't work in someone's face. Wait, hold up. This almost looked like them, but I don't think that is, because that doesn't make any sense. It's just like, oh, I'm going to make it to your favor. You're trying to play games on me, and it doesn't work now in your favor. Who's screwing with someone's stuff so much that they're trying to set them up like a bad guy? Being like, I'm going to make this fortune to where, like, every, whenever they're on the top, it's going to ruin them. In the end, they're going to screw them up. They're going to do whatever. Someone's trying to sabotage someone's future. Because they feel dominated. All to avoid a tower. Now, this person's already hit a tower, but they want to keep this person from hitting their tower. Which is crazy, because this tower is over here. It's like you already asked for a tower, and that's why you got hit, but now you want to bring someone else down with you? This was a counterpart formally, sure, but, uh... From what I could tell, only one person's going to be facing a tower, and it isn't the other one. Because someone already fell, the other one is stuck in suspension. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. The vibe and energy. The individual over here wants to let the guard down. They're guarded. But they're guarding because they don't want someone happy. Leo, they, I don't think they want you happy. They don't want you getting over anything. They're comfortable, but they're nervous. This definitely feels like someone with Leo placement is trying to go after a Leo's son. And it's just like, uh, I'm the king of this bitch. Who is you in my territory? You didn't even bring me snacks. Asshole. I don't wanna know. Oh, they're holding back. They're holding back. No, they got their, like, someone's got their guard up emotionally. And this person's just like, I don't know what to do. Sorry, y'all, my battery just died. I had to change out the thing, but, um, that's what it kind of feels like to me. It's like, what was the last two? Yeah, someone's guarded. You know. Cancer energy, once again, could be dealing with the cancer for sure. Um, we also have the hanged man reverse, so there's Pisces and there's cancer definitely involved in this portion. Someone could be dealing with that? Mm -hmm. Someone's in hanged man energy, okay. One more. They're hung up, they don't know what to do, and they don't want to admit anything because there's not a lover scenario here. One more on that one. Someone needs to let their guard down. I can't tell if someone's using their emotions to mess with someone or not, but it's just like, mm. Mm. I don't 
think I like it. I don't think I like it one bit. <clears throat> but someone's got a victory here. Yeah, Leo, look. Look, look. This person... And the ones on this side, Leos and Cross Watchers. This is your birthday read. This person's going to be really upset, whoever they are, that you are loved and admired by all, especially children. You make them snacks and such. Mmm. Interesting. Man, this thing eats battery fast once it's recording. Hmm. See if your fish sucks quickly. Hmm. <coughs> At least with my old camcorder, if the cord was plugged in, it um stayed charged that way. But no, not this son of a bitch. Hmm. So someone's burning because they want to go the fuck outside. <coughs> Enjoy the wilderness. Well, no. You're kind of an asshole. Yeah, I am the fucking straight Leo. Yeah, Leo, Leo, someone was trying to dull your fucking starry, shiny self. Someone is mad, Leo. You know, my soon to be ex husband's Leo, and I swear to God, if someone's doing this to, to him, I'm gonna beat their fucking ass. Like, yeah, like let him, let me find out. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I, like, if someone were doing this to him, I'd be insulted. I never would pull this kind of shit with him. But someone's dead. No, 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 no. That's beaten. That's beaten. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the pentacles, you bit. Mmm. Oh, well, I don't want it. Did you say something, Mom? Never mind, I thought you said something. Mmm. There's a cross watcher. I really don't like this person, and they're starting to get on my fucking nerves. Because it's like they're. It, it's like every time you try to give them something, they insult you. They're staring their tongue at you, like the Earth signs reading. I read this and it's just like, well, I don't want it. And I understood where they were coming from. But in this, I'm picking up the sun of energy. And it's just like, you're an ungrateful son of a bitch. Person A, not person B. Because I feel like, Leo, you're more person B. Yeah, I don't care. I do not care. Where's my list? Oh, because I'm not on my list. World... Oh my god, lo-fi girl sleeping on her bed with her kitty cat. That is the most precious. Okay. Mmm. I'm already down to 14 and it hasn't even been two minutes. What the fuck is this thing? Mmm. Someone's not using your intuition about that too. Leo's and Crosswatchers, you know you got a fake. The fact they don't even accept with, with little you give them. I want to act like a monster towards you? Mmm. You could also have um, Pisces in your chart for sure. The High Priestess reverses here again. This person just might be distracted by something else, but they want to act like they're not. The obstacle challenge screaming at a motherfucker isn't going to help easily as in cross watchers. This is going to put you in childlike energy. It's going to make you look immature, irrational, unstable. I mean, yeah, it'll help, like, alleviate your stress a little bit. But you're gonna play all your cards out. And King of Swords is up right now. So, yeah, okay. It was a good pass. Yeah, Leah's and Crosswalkers, this is significant for you, because you need to, um... Pay attention. I love you. Mm, they want to drink from that and double it. Uh. 
Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna punch this motherfucker in the face. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm, I usually don't get this easily annoyed with a person. I'm just saying, Liam and Crosswatcher, sometimes y'all have the mentality emotionally of a three-year-old. So, you know, I, 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 I kinda got things, I feel a certain way about that. Like, sometimes y'all could be, like, emotionally three years old and it's like it feels like people are taking advantage of that it feels like i want to beat this person up for you because it's like i can see what you're doing to them i think you really do care for this individual but they're using that against you this wish fulfillment right here i feel like they got more than what they bargained for with you too and that's what led this tower event. But they want the, the tower to happen to you. But it's not happening to you. It's happening to them. They wished for this. Because you are actually a magician. You know exactly what you're doing. Despite the fact that they want to pretend that you're doing something to them. You're not. You're doing for yourself. Now this motherfucker wants to lose their temper again. Come around the bowl where you are to freak you out. Being like, you need the female. Nah, 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 nah. Yes, exactly. You are already a fat cat. Go out in the fucking sun, idiot. Hmm. I don't like this because this feels like an emotionally abusive thing, and I, oh. Use your candle mouth for clarification. Because I know I'm not wrong. Mm. I don't know, man. I just, I just, I, I, I want to punch someone in the face for you. I really do, Leos and Crosswatchers. It, it, when this is the day, this is the day. Because I really want to hit someone in the face for you. I, like, I see exactly what they're doing and the power plays and using your emotions against you and making you feed into shit, but also making it feel like you're not doing enough for them and they need you, but the fact that you feel like you need to be needed is what they use the most against you, and it's like, do you not want to be with someone who wants to be with you? You know, because if you need somebody, they're obviously obligated towards you. But at the same time, someone would rather be a bum on the street. I'm just saying, like, someone would rather go back to the streets. I feel like it's you, Leo. It's just like, I'd rather be looked at like a whore than be like, this is hell for this. This is not my place. This is not for me. I will have none of it. This is stupid. You didn't even acknowledge the fact that, like, you got to see my face today. And, like, I just figured, like, you know. You want to demonstrate your strength? This person doesn't want it. Um, basically, you're ignoring your intuition that they might be distracted by something. They're just not going for it. You know, we're digging up onions to cry. That's what I want to tell a person that. Because they're digging up reasons to be bitchy. You're not going to... Like, someone isn't going to birth anything in this situation with whoever this is. One more on that. Why is that important? Well, no, actually... Are you sad because this person isn't who you thought they were? They don't actually know themselves. It's just like, oh, well, this was a wasted opportunity with this loser. Once again, in a love scenario partnership. I think when you go off on this person, it makes them think you still care. Oh, there's still love here I can drink out of. And it's just like, what? Also, you telling me I'm a bitch means that you think that I'm the best bitch in the world. It's like some psycho whore shit. Not horror, whore. Only the R is like a pirate. For justice! There's justification somewhere. Lib Libra energy when it came to the past. Or maybe you have to pronounce the past and be like, look, I I'm kind of sick of this scenario. Like, we keep going over the same things. 
where you have me do things and it's just like is, is what i do not enough for you like i'm trying to come to you with a, with a pretty good cup i even got a whole fish to talk to Just as in a past situation where someone emotionally approached a fucked up family? Is someone trying to be a baby daddy for someone? Because this isn't the same shit I'm reading. It's like someone walked into um, an already established setting. Or they went back to a, a family they belonged to that, like, they, like the kid, he hits people in the kneecaps with sticks on purpose. The dad slaps the mother every time the baby cries. The, cry, the baby just can't stand the mother for some reason. The mother having sex with all sorts of people, I don't know. Or someone got involved with someone and started having an affair with them despite the fact that they already established a family. My, the magician, temperance reverse, ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles reverse. Look, I'm telling this flat out, right? At what point? Whoever's on the side. Leo, I feel like it definitely could be you. How long are you gonna keep, um, producing magical stuff for someone who isn't even happy with what you give them and always demanding more, but it's never enough. It's never what they actually want. They don't even want what you're giving them. They just want to stress you out because it's funny. That's, that's why I'm having an issue and thinking that it's a Leo placement, not a Leo son. Because a Leo placement, I can see doing this. A Leo son, not so much, because this, this is way too much mental thinking. Um, not saying that Leos are stupid, but, like, Leo sons are, like, they're the first, like, no, they're the second fire sign. So it's, like, it's after the whole, like, Aries where it's, like, I am. It's, like, I am the show once it's with Leo, right? So for me, it's just, like, most Leos wouldn't even concentrate this hard, as far as I know, on, um getting someone to behave a certain way because they're too busy trying to get people to, um, in a sense, validate them, I think. You know, they're too focused on themselves to be worried about how to really manipulate people that well because, like, I can always tell when a Leo's son is up to some shit. Um, it's an easy tell. But the Leo placements, though, is completely different. That's more of an internal thing, not an external You know, it'd be like um, a Capricorn sun with a Leo moon or rising, or even both. It makes them think that they're fucking royalty, but, you know, like, they can't keep a job. Um, they're too busy worried about themselves and probably blame other people for how they react to them, rather than realizing, like, no, people are reacting accordingly. You're just an asshole. You just don't want to deal with it. Um, that's the difference. It's like, Leo, I, I, like, I can't see you, like, being this cruel to someone because, like, you actually care. Whoever this possibly is, this person, hey, they, they got the placements. They don't care, though. They care about themselves. Because a lot of Leos, they have good hearts. They're kind. They'll love you to death. They always will. But this person, uh, they're just a user. So Leo sons, be careful, because... And I'm not saying all Leo placements, but it's someone with Leo placements. You might have water placements in your charts. I don't know, but... And, and like, the roles could be reversed. But, um... There's a lot of trash in this goddamn swimming pool, and it's a kiddie pool. I'm just saying, there's not even a damn fish here. The end result in all this, I just... Like, no matter what you give them, it's not going to be enough. That's what causes the emotional uh, disconnect, the unattachment. There was this love scenario here. Oh, and there's this king of swords, but it's on the other side. 
I think this person's the one that's the problem. Because this king is, because the king of swords over here on this side, the emperor on this side, both of them are upright. But when it's reversed, it's on this person's side, and that's kind of what popped up earlier, which is why I was just like, oh, I'll give it a pass. This isn't the same. This person's got a lot of nasty shit to say, particularly to whoever person B is. Um, you know what? Just fucking fight them. Especially when they come to your house. Just to, just to fight them in. Just starts to swing and being like, Ah, stop attacking me. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Like, that's how I feel. It's just like to start hitting the motherfucker at this point. Because that's as far as <laughs> that's as far as I would get. Because I would not be able to put up with the disrespect. Eventually, the negress is going to come out of me. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I think you've been behaving. Not who you are, but how you've been behaving. Because some people can't separate people's actions from who they are. Oh, but what about Chester molesters and um, murderers and shit? Hey, did I say that they made a choice not to do the things that they did? Right? I'm not saying that the worst of the worst isn't who they are. What I'm saying is that this person likes being worse with you. You know, because I'm on there just totally believe that like people make people narcissists. Like, and, it, like, and, you be, and it's because it's in them. You know, it's like certain people cause certain people to act out a certain way. And I think narcissism is one of those things where it's just like you meet a person so much more better than you and at some point it just triggers a person to think we're in competition why are they acting this way why are they doing this and it's because people don't know how to mind their fucking business you know i'm just saying like what people say and think about you is none of your damn business if you make it your business well maybe that's true however um you don't have to take every insult a person gives you i would just like honestly it's so much easier just to sit there and let somebody sit there and make assumptions about you and talk about you and just nod your head. Because they can only say it so many times before people start realizing, you know, like, you're a little bit too focused on somebody who, um... You're not even around. Like, are you okay? You know, it's like, why are you talking so much about what a person did or what they're... Like, someone's obsessed or something. It's like they can't shut the fuck up. They're always coming back to this one thing. And Leo, you might be noticing this with this person. Especially if they have Leo placements in their chart. But it's like... Which, you know, everyone's got a little bit of zodiac signs. But I'm talking about when it's prominent. I'm talking about, um... Oh my god, what if they had a stellium? Either way, we're not paying attention to that. What I'm trying to say is... Um, Well, some people only feel like they're worth something by tearing someone else down. And sometimes we don't know that we're bringing it out of someone. And possibly well after the fact. But it's very obvious that um, sometimes, if I'm working, but... Um, Hmm. You could have brought it out of this person without realizing it. Maybe they didn't. Maybe you didn't know that this was something in them. But like, once again, six flags has six red flags. Maybe you didn't just see it coming. Maybe it was one of those things where like, oh, I didn't realize this was a red flag till way later. You know, because the more experience people have in situations like this, the quicker it is they can spot them, right? And it's like you're possibly finally spotting this now, and it's like, man, I got, I, I, I gotta chew through this fucking door. Like, I, like I need to get my iron in, man, cause. Mm. What the fuck? Like every time. Does this person cry when you yell at them? They, like, do, do they cry when you call them out on their shit? 
the fuck are you crying for? There's only one person who's devoted to, like, have tears, and that's me, says Leo. Like, the fuck? Like, mmm. I feel like when you, since you guys have been together, this person has done nothing but lied and played the victim about their broken heart, y'all. Acting like a queen of swords wanting to stab people because they're all in their feelings, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, nobody asked for this, nobody summoned you, no one's expecting you to do this kind of shit. Be quite frank, this is kind of retarded. Says Leo. But it is. But not in that way. But in an actual, like, this is insulting kind of way. Someone is dumb as fuck. <laughs> they ain't got no luck. They want to send a message to a very defensive snake. One. Mmm! No! No, 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 no. Absolutely goddamn not. Do not let your love for someone, especially you, Leos, do not let someone. Convince you to come back. Or convince you to take them back. Or just convince you that, like, you deserve a chance. Like, a chance to, what, the fuck shit up like you did the last time? Oh, oh. Oh, I, 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 I suppose I should. I'm not going to, though. But I, I almost, I guess. No, no, no. Don't guess not. Don't you dare guess a goddamn thing. No. No, 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 no. Um, leave them alone. This person cries whenever they want to make you feel guilty. I don't like that. I, I don't think you like that. I think that's why you're eating through a fucking door and running through burning woods. I, and I don't blame you. I'd rather risk getting burnt on the street, too. There ain't no reason to be submitting something like this if you get my drift right the person gets a little bit of power and lets it go to their head and then somehow um, you're not doing enough this is like when a bitch makes more money and then expects her man to make more money too mm-hmm That's one thing I could at least say. Never ever once, when I was with somebody, I ever expected them to, like, make more than me. Because, you know, it's like, uh, I've always been the breadwinner of any relationship I've been in. <laughs> so it's just like, I've never, I've never expected anyone to make more than me. But this person, this person demands your entire four paychecks for the next two months in one day. And then it says you could you could have made more. You were being lazy at work. That's the energy I'm getting here. Okay? Does that make sense? But my issue is... I don't think your guides are able to tell you this. I, I would prefer if you all would like it. Like, just check this, but, um... You know, I'm just saying, like... If, if someone's eye got knocked out for a reason... I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but, um... Someone needs to check their shit. I don't know if you're a practitioner or not, though. If you are, like, you should... Like, I feel like that if you are a practitioner, you should already realize something's fucking with your shit. And you need to, like, actually do something to fix it. Or just cleanse... Well, no, no let's not say cleanse. Let's just say, like, clear. 
let's say clarifying, like a clarifying shampoo, because cleansing doesn't tell me much. But if I clarify, if I take a detoxer, that definitely will help uh, balance a situation out. You need to detox your friends or whatever. I don't know, whoever this relationship is. It could be a love relationship, S strong 80%. Friendship, a good 50 Family, maybe 43. I know the percentages are so off, but just go with it. Um, random people maybe you work with? 10. But it really doesn't matter the scenario, does it? Like, you're still using your feelings for them against you in order to get what they want because they're lazy and they want to act like whatever. So, that's the Leo season reading. Take care of yourself and don't worry about um, how everyone feels. But you're not doing enough for them because that's just going to boost you to do more for yourself, honestly. Live spitefully, my friends. Anyway, love your face. You be safe. Stay suspicious. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.